Hello everyone, hope you all are doing great. Guys, today in this video, we are going to troubleshoot this network. First of all, before starting troubleshooting, let me make you understand familiar with this topology. Suppose here you can see this is my network diagram. This is network architect. You can consider this network as a network of a company. Suppose this is a network of XYZ company. Okay. And you are the network administrator there. Okay. So you are managing this, this network and these are the employee of XYZ company. These are non-technical guys. Suppose the, these guys don't know how to configure IP address or anything about, about networking. These are non-technical guys. The work of these guys is just to access this server, the server which is available in my network. As you can see, there are two server, old server and new server. This is the old server and this one is my new server. Okay, so these employee every day access this server. They they every day share some you know data on this server. So now Sam, out of all employees, only Sam is complaining to you that I am not able to access new server. I am able to access old server, but I am not able to access new one. So as a network engineer, how you will troubleshoot it? What will be the troubleshooting step? Uh, that you will follow to troubleshoot the problem that Sam is facing. So guys, before watching this video, please, you know, uh, just think that how you will troubleshoot it. What will be your first step? What will be your second step? At least you should write down five to six step from where you will start the troubleshooting. Hope now scenario is clear to you. And in this scenario, one more thing. Here you can see the IP address of old server IP address of new server and IP address of SAM all belongs to same subnets. Yes, and VLAN ID of SAM, new old server and new server all are same. That same that is VLAN 100. Okay, still SAM is not able to access new server, but SAM is able to access you know old server. So same, uh, you know SAM generated one ticket for you that just troubleshoot my network why I am not able to uh, access new server. Okay, so see, first of all, the IP address belongs to same subnet of all these devices to server and SAM and all three devices belongs to same VLAN. Yes or no? That means here on this link, maybe conf see, there is some misconfiguration on this link or maybe this link on this link or maybe on this link. So first thing I think that first step, first troubleshooting step should be you should check that switch one and switch two, switch one and switch two is using which path between SAM and new server. Yes or no? Because as you know, there are two paths, this path and this path. So first of all, you have to identify that switches between switches, which link is using to forward traffic uh, between SAM and new server. How you will check it by running command. So a spanning tree protocol. Before that, if you want to check the IP configuration, you can check it. So let me show you the IP configuration. I think IP configuration is fine. So IP, are you able to see the IP here? 10.1.1.10. And gateway is 10.1.1.100. Okay. After that, if you want to see the IP address of old server, let me show you where is old server. Here it is on old server. So IP interface brief. You can see here I am running IP 10.1.1.1. On new server, if you want to check IP address, let me show you. And here let me change the host name as well config t and say host name let's say old server okay now let me show you the ip configuration of new server enable so ip interface brief here you can see ip address is correct fine let me change host name over here as well host name and let's say new server Okay, now, now we need to check that which link between switch one and switch two is working to forward traffic between SAM and new server. For that, 
I have to take access of switch one. So let me take you on switch one first. Here is my switch one, and let me show you. So a spanning tree protocol. So a spanning tree protocol. So G E zero E zero slash zero is designated port, and E zero slash one is also designated port. Right. That means both port is in forwarding state. Now let me take you on switch number two. Here, if you will run so a spanning tree. So a spanning tree. Here, guys, you can see Ethernet zero slash zero is designated port, and zero slash one is root port. Zero slash one is your root port, and zero slash zero is designated port. So now I am not able to see which port is. in blocking state so i have to check the spanning tree configuration of core switch so let me take access of core switch as well here enable and so spanning tree so as you can see 0 slash 0 is my root port and e 0 slash 1 is block so this this port is blocked yes that means switch 1 and switch 2 between switches this link will work yes or no this is the path between sam and new server yes or no so now i need to check that this server belongs to vlan 100 or not okay so on switch number 1 let me run so vlan command so vlan brief okay vlan 10 is there vlan 100 is there and you know ethernet 0 slash 2 is member of vlan 100 yes it's fine now let me check vlan on switch number 2 that same belongs to same vlan or not so vlan brief okay here also you can see vlan 100 is exist and the 0 slash 2 port is member of vlan 100 definitely it's okay server 1 server 1 is also member of same vlan fine guys so there is no any problem with vlan configuration right and till now we we know which link is working between switch 1 and switch 2 okay so now we need to check what configuration on this link now we need to check configuration on this link maybe this link is you know access so this link must be configured as trunk so let me check that is this link configured as trunk or not so first of all on switch number 1 i am going to run command so interface trunk and here you can see e0/1 is configured as trunk manually mode is on right and encapsulation protocol that we are using is dot 1q native vlan is 1 and the status is trunking it's fine now let me check uh, vlan configuration oh sorry trunk configuration on switch number 2 so so interface trunk over here also you can see so e1/0 is configured as trunk mode is here also on encapsulation is same status is trunking and native vlan is one so both side this link this port is configured as trunk let me check that really sam is not able to access new server ping first of all let me ping old server 10.1.1.1 Yeah, I am able to ping old server, and Sam should be able to ping new server as well. Ping 10.2. This is the IP address of new server. Yeah, really, Sam is not able to access new server. So, guys, now we had check VLAN information. We had check IP address, right? We had check trunking. So everything is right till now. Now, what I am going to check? Now I need to check that. Okay, if this link is trunk. this link is trunk then let me check the allowed vlan on trunk link okay so let's start from switch number 1 on switch number 1 what i am going to do again i am going to run command so interface trunk so interface trunk and uh, let me maximize it okay e0/0 is configured as trunk and allowed vlan are vlan 124094 okay and these are the active vlan on this trunk link okay here everything is fine let me check this uh, same configuration on switch 2 so here again i am going to say so interface trunk okay 
now this interface is configured as trunk and allowed VLAN here you can see VLAN 100 is not allowed right on switch number 2 port E0 slash 1 on this port allowed VLAN R VLAN 100 are not allowed yes or no so that is the reason why SAM is not able to ping so maybe someone have configured someone have removed VLAN 10 from this this trunk port or maybe engineer have misconfigured so due to that this is my new server I have just you know deploy this server in my network now I am planning to replace this server right old server because suppose hardware configuration of the server was not good or not good so that's why I am adding new server with good hardware okay so I, my engineers have configured trunking but they have by mistake or they have removed uh, VLAN 100 from the trunk port so that's why Sam is not able to you know uh, ping so now I need to add VLAN 100 on this trunk port so let me take you on switch number two and guys let me fix the problem go to interface f0 slash 1 and not 0 slash 1 e0 slash 1 sorry e0 slash 1 and here we can say switch port trunk a lot vlan uh, 100 and after that okay hit enter now if you will check again so interface trunk let me check that uh, okay vlan 100 is only allowed on this trunk link so let me allow all other vlan as well interface e0 slash 1 and switch port trunk allowed vlan 1 2 let's say 1 2 and uh, 4 0 9 6 what is saying bad vlan actor okay number vlan 6 or top range okay so 4 sorry it will be not 6 it will be 4 now if you will check trunk so interface trunk here you can see a lot vlan r from 1 to 4 0 9 4 yes now let me check that sam is able to access new server or not so here is sam yes now sam is able to ping new server okay guys so this was just a small troubleshooting maybe uh you know there was problem with a lot vlan on trunk link and hope you understand that why sam was not able to access new server earlier and now sam is able to access new server so this type of troubleshooting you know this is scenario based network engineer interview question interviewer can ask you this type of question in interview one of my paid student received this question in interview that's why i have i asked I made one video on it okay in next video we will discuss uh, different scenario for troubleshooting but before that if you have learned something from this video please hit on like button if you have not subscribed this channel guys please subscribe this channel we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe bye bye